Why so glum? Smile, man. Go on camera. everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up let's get it over 500 likes click that like button right now all right we have a couple of dope news items for this video the first one y'all remember those leaked images of the playstation 5 that a developer actually said we're real well now we have 3d renders of the same footage and bro <laughs> it's starting to look clean man let me zoom out so you can see it these are 3d renders of the PlayStation 5 what the play at first when I saw the um, the first leaked images, the the, the hand-drawn ones, I was like, uh, looks a little weird, just a lot of air vents. But when you see the actual 3D model, doesn't look that bad. And so <coughs> this is what the PlayStation 5 may look like. Of course, Sony has to come out and officially unveil their system, but it looks cool again. A lot of air vents signaling a lot of power is under the hood. <coughs> Don't let your PlayStation explode. Red, red ring of death like the Xbox 360. But like I've said before, next generation, I'm leaning more towards getting that Xbox boy, the um, Xbox Scarlet. That's what I get first. I prefer Microsoft. So we'll have to wait and see what Sony has to offer. All right. Next news item. Bro. The Nintendo Direct rumors continue to heat up. How hot is it right now? It's real hot. GameStop has added 14, over 14 additional Nintendo Switch SKUs to their internal systems. This all but confirms a Nintendo Direct is right around the corner. Usually when Walmart, GameStop, Best Buy start adding SKUs, specifically when it's a, a whole bunch of Nintendo SKUs being added to the system, Nintendo has informed them all of these games are right about to be announced. We're having a Nintendo Direct, and so they're just getting their internal systems ready. But now we know. I wonder what Nintendo has in store. I mean couple of games of course but they already already have the date for luigi's mansion these 14 SKUs <coughs> are games that haven't been announced or games that have been announced but we haven't gotten um launch dates for yet so interesting 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 to see what will be announced at the next nintendo direct we're going to talk about that super mario sunshine at the end of this video but Next news item, Xbox, the head of Game Pass, Ben Decker, the head of Xbox's gaming services, has said that they want Game Pass on everything. That's what he said, and this is what he specifically says. He was interviewed by Game Reactor, and I quote, you know, we would like to see Game Pass on all platforms ultimately, and I think that is a long-term goal. We don't have any specific plans today, but we would love to see Game Pass really go everywhere. And so, they want it on the Nintendo Switch, they want it on PlayStation, they want it on every smart TV, they want Game Pass everywhere i have to say this i say this all the time <laughs> game pass right now is the best thing going on in gaming um first you get 
at first it was just the Xbox exclusives at launch. Like Gears 5 is about to drop next in a few days. And I don't have to pay $60 for it. I'm already subscribed. I actually have Game Pass Ultimate. I bundled my live, my um, Xbox Live um, with Game Pass. But now a lot of third party games that just launched are also coming. Devil May Cry 5, The Blair Witch Project, which I don't even think is out yet. That's going to launch on Game Pass. And so Game Pass continues to expand. I, th I think I read it somewhere where Microsoft and developers are actually finding out that people are purchasing the games after playing it on Game Pass. They're like, you know what? I want to keep this in my collection, my personal collection, not just Game Pass. And so it's a win-win all around. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying Game Pass. I, I always have something to play. <coughs> One of the craziest things I always hear dudes say is, uh, Xbox has no games. They must have an OG Xbox or Xbox 360. But um, good to see that they're trying to expand their markets. But this is head off the heels of Phil Spencer saying our exclusives are staying on Xbox consoles. So I don't know if he's when he says platforms, maybe he doesn't mean Nintendo and Sony, the head, um, this Ben Decker dude. Maybe when he says platforms, he means iOS, um, Android, smart TVs and things like that. Who knows? All right. Next news item. Dude, um, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare beta has launched exclusively on the PlayStation 4. Bro, I haven't touched my PlayStation 4 in maybe a year. And so I cranked it up and I didn't even need <coughs> um, PlayStation Plus to play it. This is the most fun I've had in a Call of Duty game in a minute. It's The demo is just 2v2. But the 2v2 matches are tense. They're over quick. I mean, bam, 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 bam. You're dead like quick. But it keeps it keeps the pace going. It's fun. A good change of pace. And what's dope about this year's Call of Duty? For the first time, the game is gonna be crossplay between Xbox and PlayStation. And so that's gonna be lit, especially for the sponsors, because dudes get it on different systems. We could all game together one big happy OGC family all right and the last news item for this video y'all remember this I just got a new revelation shout out to one of the no I don't think it was a sponsor uh, someone in the comment section of the video when I first talked about this yesterday or the, um, the day before yesterday Nintendo tweeted even Mario seems a little summer vacation. No matter where your summer odyssey, that's a game took you. We hope it has filled with, we hope it was filled with sunshine, another game. And I originally said, we're going to get Super Mario Sunshine 2 announced at this next Nintendo Direct. But <coughs> you know what makes even more sense? We're going to get a new destination to travel to. Super Mario Sunshine. Bro. That makes more sense. I liked the Nintendo 64 stage they did. And so they just might pay homage to different um, worlds, uh, past Mario games within the world of um, Odyssey. So I think that's what's going to happen. We're more than likely going to get Super Mario Sunshine um, DLC for Odyssey. They might charge us for this one. They might because we haven't gotten DLC yet in this. I wouldn't mind paying if it's meaty, if it's a good chunk of stage, a lot of moons to collect. Bro, they better have Flood. They better have Flood. When we can fly around in this water pack, that's going to be lit. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? But before I leave, I am giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite to a lucky member in about two weeks. You just got to be a sponsor and you join a great gaming community. You get on my Switch friend. This is my Xbox gamer tag friend. And we just game. We game. Tonight, I'm probably going to be playing more of that Call of Duty um, beta. And I'll probably be on 2K 
probably get some Madden in tonight. I don't know what I'm going to be playing on Twitch. But I do be gaming on Twitch as well. Follow me on Twitch. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out. Bro. You didn't like the PlayStation 5 render? I thought it was cool. Oh.